Ever been bothered by an ultra-slow download? How about a phone that won't stay charged or a cracked touch screen? Imagine you were stranded on an island with nothing to drink. What if science came up with a way to solve all these problems with a single chemical compound that you can find, of all places, in a pencil? A thousand gigabytes in one second. A smartphone fully charged in five. Super thin, flexible, and unbreakable touch screens. And a personal salt water filter. All this and more is possible with the Nobel Prize winning material, graphene. As early as the 1940s, Theoretical studies predicted graphene to have high levels of electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and breakage strength. Graphene was also known to compose the subunits of the common material graphite found in a pencil. Draw a line and groups of graphene flakes slide onto the paper, producing a mark. The problem was that no one could figure out how to isolate a single flake. Scientists tried various chemical means, resulting in nothing more than graphitic sludge. Mechanical polishing got them to a thousandth of a millimeter of graphite, but that was still about 1,000 layers of graphene. In 2002, a group from the University of Manchester took a more MacGyverist approach. Using their self-dubbed scotch tape method, physicists Sir Andre Geim and Sir Konstantin Novoselov peeled away at a graphite crystal, producing flakes that became vanishingly thin. An atomic force microscope revealed their success. The elusive material finally in hand, scientists were able to see just what graphene could do. As predicted, it's an excellent electrical conductor. The free electron on each carbon atom in graphene enables movement of charge across the surface. Moreover, its thermal conductivity, or ability to transfer heat, is higher than that of copper. Mechanically, the strong bonds between carbon atoms and the inherent stability of an hexagonal array combine to produce the strongest material known to man. Nonetheless, the bonds of graphene retain remarkable flexibility. As a sprayable two-dimensional surface, it can be used to easily tune the properties of other compounds. A lot of people are excited about graphene's possible versatile applications. Because graphene has very high conductivity and is almost completely transparent, it could be used to make more efficient electronics. These electronics have the potential to be more environmentally safe once graphene extraction techniques are improved. With its high breakage strength, graphene could be the key to lighter and stronger building materials. New techniques for creating nanoscale pores in sheets of graphene indicate that it could be used to make ultra-thin filters. As scientists think up new ways to use this supermaterial, it's worth recalling its humble entry into the scientific world. Using a piece of scotch tape and a block of pencil lead, two scientists were able to make a groundbreaking discovery. In 2010, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences awarded Geim and Novoselov the Nobel Prize in Physics for their efforts. Together, they proved that scientific innovation does not always require fancy instrumentation. It requires persistence and creativity.